What's going on guys? My name is Kays. I'm spending my day at Modified Live and it is awesome so far. Just gonna go up the hill and um, watch some of the races now. I've checked out most of the cars. As you can see behind me, just the vast array of cars here. It's absolutely mad and I can't wait to show you more. This is a vlog and I'm at Snetterton on the 11th of October. Let's see what we can do, just get through this space here and go up this hill. There's a lot of people up there actually. Let's see if I can show you the races. So from far, watching a public day tr track day. So we've got a Subaru Impreza there, followed by a Ford Fiesta. So we've got the time attack cars here. I'll just shut up and let the cars sing for you. Massive pops and bangs. Oh, we've got Porsche there as well. Still with this Nissan R33. It's a really clean engine bay as well. Look at that. Look at that massive front splitter that I can kill on track. It's got the Nismo brake calipers at the back as well as the front. Branding for this complete carbon fibre. Probably, that's probably longer than it is taller than me. Illusion, you see from the other side of the belt. I don't know if you see that, but just got that way. When we come over to this, a stance Volkswagen Beetle. This, this is like a JDM sort of German car, if that makes sense. Look at that massive, huge steering wheel. Probably got no power steering whatsoever. Even got the fold out windscreen, got the chrome inserts here as well. That's awesome. Now we've got a GT6 or Subaru BRZ, can't tell what it is. Absolutely slammed, got a massive positive. Here. I think it's either been wrapped or really professionally painted. Got a new rear diffuser as well, only one exhaust exit. Super low, you can barely even see the rear light. It's awesome, though. Mad deep dish wheels and tyres look absolutely massive. You can't even see the profile on them, they're just that big. There's his ID. Looks fairly standard on the inside. Just a bit of me. Look at all these Japanese cars. The east side of Japan, just all there. Jeep Grand Cherokee. SRT and also this Charger SRT Performance Hellcat. Look at this, just looks awesome. V8 run by this 19 plate, definitely not a cheap car. Let's have a look at this. Big Jeep. I don't think it's a track or I think it's just an SRT. Look how menacing it is. It's taller as me actually. Both got some roofs on. We've got a variety of supercars here. Awesome grey matted Lamborghini Huracan. So you could denote if it was a Perth Monte Mongol engine. It looks fairly stock as well. Yeah, it's just a sort of base Huracan. So probably a 2014, can't assume. 63 years of Lamborghini. You can see the interior there. Almost unchanged. 
compared to the new one, look at the massive brakes. And also then air ducts look way bigger in person than they do in the photos. And very low and sleek, and I love the colour as well. I think it's probably a special edition actually. Saw how we've also changed. So you've got the an 05 Cayman, so 2005 Cayman S, and then you've got another Cayman. Now just look, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see how the boot line has increased slightly. Wind windows slightly further back as well, slightly higher up. We've also got you know, it looks like an engine under there, I'm not too familiar with the Cayman. Cargo area. And you can see the cargo area is actually bigger than the car. You can see how Porsches have just got more pork here in the years, but oh well. Well, that's what Matt Wilson from Carlisle says. Look at the difference in the interior though. You see this? Look, it's quite blocky. It's still quite bespoke for the day. But yeah, then you look at this interior. It's much more unclustered. The wheels look much more evolved as well. Funny, really. Um, you see it next to the Porsche, and it's actually sort of right. in real life. My view is it's actually the same size. And just as you start building up videos, your pace in the dry section, you, you suddenly hit a little bit of wet and get all out of shape. We saw almost half an entire turn to that inline six foot TVR note for not being the most reliable. On your screen is the number 144 Porsche GT3 of David Dyson running ahead of our series and this car Subaru Impreza you need to see if you look down there the radiators as well won't get too close it's not it's not scratch this guy's sports car but yeah he got Tuscan nice grey O3 plate as well we do currently have some drift demonstration runs Recorded some stuff from the time attack. RX7, this is the pro class time attacks. Just walking through the car park now, I mean, it's amazing. And surprisingly, despite it being October, it is really good weather. Oh, by the way, is that a Supra? Is that a Supra? So, yeah, absolutely amazing day. Oh, just seen a box or Astra. Triple canards on it. As I was just doing this vlog thing. Look at that. Look at the triple can odds. Quite tastefully designed, but I wouldn't have it myself. You can see a lot of cool cars here. So many cool cars. Never seen such modified stuff. Merc. 63. Looks like a C63, I think. Be it. I don't think it's a black series, but nice Mercedes interior. Got the automatic. Big quad tailpipes. Yep, C63, like I said. 
Looks like a black edition, doesn't it? Look how fast this Thank you. Nissan is with the green wheels. Mitsubishi banging up on This is one of the fastest cars on the track in the last 1 minute 17. Subaru in the right colour, Richard Henry Subaru Impreza, get that Subaru Raw, and we found this, Norfolk and Suffolk Subaru Club, STI wagon, looks awesome, especially with them gold wheels, looks very original. Wagon. Look at that hood scoop as well. Gold wheels, these. Pro Drive gold wheels. So this is an OEM Pro Drive kit. Got a tow bar and everything. So I didn't realise the magnitude of this. Uh, it's absolutely massive, this event is. And just like looking at it from afar, it's just like absolutely incredible. How many cars and car enthusiasts are coming here? I could have even taken this on track at uh, my GT86, but I decided not to because I couldn't get insurance on time. I only found out they actually did um, public track time um, about three or four days prior to the event, and I totally put it off the Public well, track time, even if it was 15 minutes per thing. In the name of but yeah, oh my god, there's so many cars here. I've got to go check them out. There's a race going on behind me, as you can see. I think there's another time attack, another uh, series of time attack cars in their practicing stages. But yeah, let's get it. It's got body kit on it. It's got radio on the outside. Got GoPro inserts for there. Completely blacked out so you can't really see the interior. Sorry. I don't know what to do with this. Wrap. This looks like a proper time attack car as well. Full car up on it. With the uh, quarter panels as well. Massive uh, active front diffuser on the of it. Uh, inky wheels as well, very good. International purveyors of horsepower. It's got like half a roll cage as well. Ceramix 5. So it's got premium demand CLO. I don't know what that means. But the R design, not really a tuner car. Oh well. Uh, first generation full focus uh, ST by the looks of it. Seat Lawn Cooper R. Another GT86, not the best colour. 2012, hope he's had the um, problem fixed. Volkswagen Golf R, very tasteful car. Super. 
Opera. The old 90s one. Just that scene there. See the interior. And it's got the specifications here. TRD tuning kit on it as well. Fairly big turbo. Look that engine bay so clean. 1JZ. Absolutely incredible vehicle. I've not seen one of these actually at the whole event until now. I put it's next to another JDM vehicle. Nissan Micro wide body. <laughs> that must be blast drive. Revving the Chevy he was told off by Marshall for it being too loud. Mad, actually, way over the li noise limit of this track, <laughs> even in paddock.
it is starting to rain, so it's not the best. And uh, you can see the clouds are behind me. It's not boding very well. It's quickly treated. Oh, get a pattern of rain as well. Um, oh my god, it's starting to get a bit heavier. But it's nearly lunchtime. back to the car. I'm just gonna get in and have my lunch. It's nearly one o'clock. It's very late but um, best to just hop in and I'll see you in a bit.
six is this looks like a actual import whilst this one is a UK registered and look at how awesome these cars look they're so much smaller than a person as well these cars are worth well over 40 grand and just look at the ergonomic interior really honor of that I think this person has taken out the radio as you can see all the um, wiring is exposed very nice looks completely stock and so clean as well in this Honda red look at the exhaust as well both cars are exactly the same I don't think there's any sort of visible differences you can also see the radio area head on this this one has also got the radio head sick sick pair of insects here got this starlit glanzer in black looks fairly stock the GT Turbo. Oh. It's gorgeous looking black. Also got this wind reflector on the top. Fairly standard looking interior. The blacked out rear windows. Compared to how cars are designed now and the days of old, it's more about the more of a wider profile there, but gorgeous cars. all the way home it's like a 50 mile commute back so yes I hope you guys have enjoyed this video uh, please like comment uh, and subscribe and um, peace if you like these vlogs then ring that notification bell so you get more of that content because I'll be doing just more of that soon